Hi and welcome to Add More Zest with Diamonds. My name's Rebecca and I've got some paintings to share with you today from Coup Deals. So I'm going to start with the smaller one because it's always easier to shove them to one side with the smaller ones. So this one is actually 30 across but it is 55 in length. Uh, this is Coup Deal's new style canvas, so it has a nice soft on the back and has this nice ribbed edge. Um, now with Coup Deal sizes, while the canvas says 30 across, that is the full width of the canvas. So it's actually a diamond painting area of 25 by 50. Uh, but this one is a beautiful rose pattern. Um, gorgeous bunch of roses. This one is a round. Um, I like that on Coup Deals you can tell just by the side of the canvas whether it's round or square but it's going to turn into a very very stunning rose picture. You do get a nice toolkit with a nice white boat and we do have three ABs in this one. You do also get an inventory sheet which is also nice but let's pull out the ABs and have a look at where they are that is a chunky AB that one that red one got lots of sparkle in this rose where's the other one because it does have a little R on the end to tell me so it should be another pink I don't think it's, no, that's it. Oh, there it is. There it is. There it is. So we'll start, no, let's start with um, 666 in round, which we have a really good chunk of. That is the letter M. I am seeing that on every single rose. So every single rose will have some red sparkle. So if I pull this up, this one's got loads of them. It's the symbol M. So there is a lot round here. There is also some round here. We've also got some round here, round here, into these petals, into this little rosebud to the side, all the way across on this bottom one, also here to the left so absolutely loads on that one to be fair there's quite a bit on this one as well mainly this sort of lighter section around here but then there is the odd little one around here this one's also got loads and this bud and this one has it all the way up and round and some down here and then we've got these round here also here and this little bit. So all this brighter red is gonna be this gorgeous AB. And I think AB on 666 looks beautiful. It's a very nice AB. It doesn't, it, it doesn't change the color too drastically that it doesn't look quite right. Uh, then we have two more touches of AB. So we have 602 and 603. So they're very, very similar in pink, but one is a bit darker than the other. So the slightly darker one at 602 is the symbol K. We have a little bit scattered in here and around sort of some of the edges. So that's where I'm finding it. It's in each rose, not this bottom one, but it is in sort of the main flowers rather than the buds um, but it is a little scattering so this one has two on this strip it has two it has one up here um, on here we've got a couple again they're all sort of on the outlines and it is very much a scattering but it does appear on every main flower of rose um, and then there is one on this bud at the top there's also a couple on this bud but like there's none on this rose bud and there's none on this rose bud so it's the main flowers that there is a light scattering and then 603 is the letter L and that sort of follows the same thing 
so between these two they tend to come in some of this lighter edging where the light sort of shines on the rose a little bit differently um, and again we've got some L's in here mixed in with the K's mainly on the outside of this one but then we've got a lot more on the inside of this one where it's very light on the letter k it's actually got more of the letter l uh, we've got some of the letter l around here we don't have any on this rosebud but we do have some on this so again it's mainly on the flowers um, and it's easier to show you again with this big one you see where we've got this paler pink um, some of it is actually a paler pink uh, but we have the L and the K sort of scattered throughout that so to give a highlight to those lighter parts of the rose so that is painting number one I'm loving the added touches of ABs in quite a few of their paintings. I have a feeling that it might be in all of the paintings that I've got, but we'll see. Here's number two. So this is down as a 35 by 35, but has an actual drill area of... 20 uh sorry 30 by 30 so the true drill area is 30 by 30 but i loved the colors in this one so we do have quite a bit of a plain border uh the outline is 3865 and we do have the outlines of 310 if you have the space to have this like fully out Doing the border and then all the black would just make an amazing picture to fill in if you have the patience for that sort of thing. Um, I sometimes start off like that, but then I want the variety of the colour. <laughs> uh, we also have ABs in this one. Um, these actually have the letter A after them rather than the letter R but they are all based at the end of the painting and they do all use DMC numbers so you can store them to use in future paintings but we have 606 which is a lighter red we have some here in this stripe of the tiger of the zebra sorry we also have some here in this sort of background part where there's some of this sort of brighter red um, and then there is a scattering in here but it is more of the odd placement than full strips then we have 995 which is a darker blue we have a section of it here so there's actually three blue colors one of them is this ab we have just a couple here three here and then we have some in these sort of blue stripes that's actually a mixture of a couple of different blue colors we then have some here so we have some of that and then there's a teal cut more teal color in the middle we've got a couple scattered over here and again we've got a couple here where it's not the main part of the blue it's just some highlights around the edges and then we have 602 which is a pink uh, in this one we have a batch of it here and then a little line up here we have a few little swatches of it in this strip that's got some pink in so more the background than the the front dotted about that the red was in um, we also have some of it up here again a little scattering mixed in with some other pale colors and down here and we have it scattered in this whole flower here uh, again it's it's sort of a couple of different the two main shades are 3608 which is a normal pink and then this ab pink is sort of a highlight around that so just to show you the letter r so this darker pink is the AB and then the pale pink is that 3608 that mixes in. So quite a nice little scattering, but I thought this was, this was a fun painting um, because of the colour. I say, if you've got the patience to do the 3865 and all the black, then colouring this in would be amazing. 
colouring in for diamond painters. Okay, so that's number two. And then number three, uh, that one was a square, by the way. This one is a round. All Cool Deal cool Deals paintings are available in square or round, and they are all available in multiple different sizes. I have chosen the smallest available for each painting that I've got so that you can see what the smallest looks like. Um, if you want it in bigger, for a bigger frame, bigger place in your house, the quality will only get better. The quality and clarity of the image will only get better. So I want to show you what the smallest is like. Um, so this one's a gorgeous aquarium one. There's a lot of coral, a lot of fishes. This is actually a really busy one um, and I still think that uh, you can tell where the fishes are, you can tell what's the coral. Of course, the bigger you go, the better it will get in this one. But I still think for a 30 by 30, which is say, I'm taking off the five centimeters for the borders, a 30 by 30 drill area, and it being in round, so in round there are less diamonds in the round size than there are in the square, because square diamonds are smaller. Um, I think the clarity on that one is really, really good. You get the nice toolkit again. For this one, we just have two AB colours. So we've just got a scattering in this, but look at the colours in this. I mean, there are just, it's just Rainbow City, isn't it? So we have 995 in round, which is a deep blue, and we have 740 in round, which is an orange. So the orange is on sort of the underbelly, I'd say, of these three fishes. Uh, there is a little bit on this fish. Uh, there is some pretty much the whole of this fish. And these couple of fishes do have a little bit in as well. We also have some in this sort of coral up here. Uh, I'm trying to work, that I think is coral. Uh, we also have a couple of bits up here and a little bit down here. And then for the 995, that is, well, it is on this fish here, but it is primarily, it's in this coral, it's in this coral down here, it's in some of this coral up here. Oh, and it's in quite a bit of this coral. So this one, or maybe it's actually the shading of the water. There is quite a lot in there. And there is also some up the top and some here. Uh, there's also some over to the left. So considering it doesn't look like there's a lot, bear in mind the picture is smaller and it is around. There's actually quite a nice scattering. Are they bees in that one? So they are my choices for today's unboxing. A couple of bright ones uh, and one that's not so much, but they're all extremely pretty nonetheless. I will put the links, as say, to each of them down below. Um, while these two may be round and this one may be square, you can get them vice versa. So if you only like to do squares, they're available in squares. And if you only like rounds, you can get them in rounds. You can also get them bigger. Uh, but yeah, thank you so much to Goo Deals for sending me these so that I could share them with you all. And thank you to all of you for watching. And I'll speak to you all again soon.